Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to restrict content in Profile Press. So there are a number of different methods we can use to restrict content, and we are going to be going over a few of them today. So let's start by going to Profile Press on the left, then we'll go to the Content Protection tab. All right, so once we're on this page, we'll add a protection rule and we'll give it a name. So let's go ahead and call this one sample. Now we need to choose the content we want to protect. So let's select a condition. So if we want to, we can restrict posts, pages, categories, and so on. Let's go ahead and restrict posts. We want to click on selected posts. Now in the menu that appears on the right, we are going to select specific posts. Let's choose this one and another random one. Okay, so now we'll go down to access condition and we'll choose who can access the content. Right now it says everyone, but let's change it to logged in users. So right now only a logged in user will be able to access the post that we selected. And furthermore, we can actually select which users, which specific users can see the posts that we selected by using this option. Now let's choose the message that we show to unauthorized users. Right now by default, we are using the global restricted access message. We can also click on this link to customize the message. So here's the default message, but if you want, you can always go ahead and change this. Now, one option you need to configure is your restricted access message style. Right now it's set to none, and you can choose to have a restricted page template or just use the blur and fade effect. Now, once you're done, make sure to save your rule. All right, so let's go ahead and visit that blog post in a new incognito window since we'll be logged out. All right, now if we scroll down to the content area, we'll see our restricted access message. Now the next method we are gonna cover is restriction via membership plan. We can use this option to select the membership plans that can access our content. So all we need to do is click inside of the box and the menu will pop up and we'll be able to choose the plans from here. And by the way, there is a detailed tutorial in the description that shows you how to create your own membership plan. So as we can see right here on this list, I have a number of different plans that I already created. To create one, click on add new plan and give your plan a name. From there, you can add a description if you want to. You can also include a purchase note. You can choose a user role for the plan or have profile press create one automatically. You can set the price. For example, I can type in $2. For subscription settings, our billing frequency is set to monthly by default. We can also choose a subscription length. We can add a signup fee and we can also add a free trial. All you need to do is select a trial period. Now, if you want to offer downloads, you can do so using these options. All right, so let's say we want to use a silver plan. We'll just click here and select silver from this list. All right, and I'll quickly go to the membership plans page just to get the link for the silver plan. So I'll open this in a new tab and I will copy the link next to silver. Now, in addition to being a silver member, we can also select the user role that a silver member would need to have in order to access the content. So once we have selected our user roles, we can now move down to configure more options. All we would need to do here is customize our global access message. We'll just click on the customize link. And by default, we had the message that says you are unauthorized to view this page. Now we'll just add to this by saying, please subscribe to access the content. And we can also go ahead and link to the silver plan. So I'll highlight subscribe and I'll just insert the link for the silver membership plan. Now let's go ahead and save our rule. And we're also going to access one of our protected blog posts in a new incognito window. All right, so here we have a message asking us to subscribe if we want to view the protected content. So if we click on the subscribe link, we'll be taken to a checkout page where we can go ahead and fill out our information. So we have signed up and we're now logged in. If we go to profile, we'll be taken to our account page. And I'm just going to quickly show you that under subscriptions, we now have the silver membership plan. OK, so that means that we should be able to access the content that was protected. If we go to the blog post, we'll see that the content is no longer restricted. But if we go ahead and sign out like this and we also need to go back to that blog post. So we'll click on blog and it's the first article. We'll just click on it. It's restricted again. Now, if we go back and remove the membership plan, we can just go ahead and click on this X next to silver. We can actually restrict content for user roles only. Let's say we only want admins to access the content. We'll just go ahead and click on save rule. And now if we go back to our blog post, I'll just swipe over to our incognito window. Now watch what happens when I go to the blog post. Let's visit the first one. So the content is now restricted since this logged in user is not an admin. So we're going to see a difference if we open this up to more user roles. 
So since our logged in user is considered a customer, we should be able to access the content if we refresh the page. All right, so now I'll show you how to restrict content on your WordPress website with ProfilePress using shortcodes. I'll link to this documentation in the description. So I'll first show you how to restrict everything. We're just gonna copy this code and we'll go to an article that's opened in the WordPress editor. Now I'll just paste this block right here. And let's say we want to restrict everything after the first paragraph. We're just going to copy the first part of the short code. So I'll just go ahead and highlight this. I'll copy it and I'll paste it at the beginning of the second paragraph. Okay. That looks fine. So let's go ahead and copy the other part, this one, and we'll paste it at the end of our content right here. All right. So right now we can remove this code block. Just remove this. And before I update this page, I just want to show you that we have access to everything. So you can see that no content is restricted. So if we go back and we update the page, just click on this update button and we go back to our blog post in incognito mode and refresh, we'll see that everything except the first paragraph is restricted. Now we're going to take a look at restricting the post content to a specific membership plan. If we take a look at the second short code, we can see a plans parameter. We can just insert this into our shortcode. Now let's first go ahead and take a look at our membership plans page. And once we hover over a plan, we'll see the ID in gray. We just want to make a note of it. So the gold plan has an ID of eight. All right. So I'm just going to adjust the portion of this content that we are going to restrict. Let's restrict everything after this area. So let's paste the shortcode. Now inside, right before the closing bracket, I'm going to leave a space and type in plans equals then single quote, eight and single quote. Now we'll update and go back to the blog post on the other page. When we refresh, we'll see that only the first line is showing, everything else is restricted. And this is because our logged in user is not a gold member. But if we go back and get the ID for the silver plan, which is seven, we can switch it up in the short code really quickly. So we'll just remove the eight and type in seven. All right, now we'll click on update. And if we go back to our content and refresh this page, we'll see that the content is no longer restricted. So also keep in mind that you can stack shortcode parameters as long as it makes sense. And if you want, you can also restrict content by user roles. You just copy this portion of the shortcode roles equals, and then you'd put in the user role between single quotes. Just make sure you leave a space and paste it anywhere before the final bracket. And that's it. We're not going to preview this one, but you should get the idea. All right. So finally, I'll show you guys how to restrict content on your entire website. You just want to go to settings on the left. Once you're in settings, click on access and you'll see your global site access options. So by default, this site is accessible to everyone, but you can make it so that only logged in users have access. And keep in mind that these settings supersede content protection rules. Let's choose logged in users. And here we have an option to select a redirect page. So if a user tries to access a page that they don't have permission to view, they would go to a page you select here. We'll choose contact page as an example. Next, we can choose the pages to exclude. Let's just use blog. Okay. That's fine. And if we want, we can use the next option to make the homepage accessible to everyone. We have our global restricted access message and blocked emails. If we save our changes, we should be good to go. And let's see what happens if we try to access the blog without logging in. All right. So as expected, we were redirected to the contact page. All right. So now you should know how to restrict content in profile press. Thank you for watching and see you next time.